What's up YouTube? Fallout Freak here. And today I am back with another Fallout location video. For my Fallout location videos, by the way, I'm going I'm going to be alternating between Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 3. We did a Fallout 4 um, location video for my first one. For this one, we're going to be doing a Fallout New Vegas location. And that location that we're going to be talking about today is Freeside. If you don't know what Freeside is, I'm going to get into a description and a layout. So here we go. Freeside is a district in New Vegas by 2281. It is a large slum located directly adjacent to New Vegas Strip. Yeah, it's really run down and a really dangerous, actually, um, city to be in. So, yeah. Freeside is situated around the intersection of Fremont Street and Las Vegas Boulevard, including the immediately surrounding area. It is protected and or loosely ruled by the Kings and the Van Graffs. The streets are dangerous and lack the luster of the strip. There is a conflict between the locals and squatters that has recently followed the NCR to the area. Background. Las Vegas was not heavily damaged during the Great War, but people didn't immediately settle into the remnants of the old city. The various, yeah, the various vault tribes and indigenous people that emerged years later hunted, hunted and fought amongst themselves within the ruins. It was not until the return of Mr. House and his Securitron enforcers that they ceased most of their open host hostilities. Mr. House's robots directed the tribes to use the sizable quantities of pre-war construction materials to build the crude but effective outer walls that separate the Strip and Freeside from the rest of New Vegas. While House va valued the area and area around Fremont Street, he ultimately viewed it as secondary in importance to the Strip itself and had a second inner wall built that separated the two areas areas. <laughs> when the NCR prospectors, and eventually the army, arrived in the region, people typically went straight for the strip, leaving Freeside, as it, has, as it had become known by locals, as an informal stopping point. Eventually, Mr. House recognized that he could use Freeside as a filter for undesirables and pulled his favored tribes and all Securitrons into the strip, leaving Freeside to fend for itself. In the two years that followed, Freeside slowly de degenerated into a hostile, lawless den of ne'er do wells. Ne'er do wells, there we go. <clears throat> For a while, it was completely without order, but two power groups managed to come to an understanding of how they of how the area needed to be maintained. The kings prevent all out chaos from erupting, but do little to deal with the day-to-day -day nas nastiness that Freesiders inflict on each other. The followers of the Apocalypse, no longer associated with the NCR, settled in the Old Mormon Fort. They received some protection from the kings in exchange for help with the community's basic needs, food, water, health services, and some education. Despite the oversight from the kings and help from the followers, the people in Freeside live in daily peril from each other as well as outside forces. Here's the layout. The area is divided into two sections via gates. The first section is C-shaped and compromised of the western, northern, and eastern parts of the district. <clears throat> this section is the first that can be that can be entered from the Mojave as it has both of Freeside's external gates. Several rough bodyguards stand near the gates, offering their protection on the mean streets of a paltry sum of caps, or, or for a paltry sum of caps. Freeside inhabitants have created a makeshift structure with the town name on the top of the ruined freeway. There are several points of interest in this section of Freeside, including the Old Mormon Fort, the base of operations for the followers of the Apocalypse, which is just inside Freeside's north gate. A general store in the area is Mick and Ralph's, which is located in Freeside's east gate. Ralph sells a fake passport to the Strip if the king gives permission, or with a speech skill of 50. The price is 500 caps, but a barter skill check can be passed for a lesser price of 375 caps. 
Outside the store, a pair of children can sometimes be seen running around the streets, a boy and a girl. The boy is named Max, and if he is spoken to, the courier can pay 1,000 caps or 20 caps with 45 barter for his toy gun, the Euclid Sea Finder, which is a unique energy weapon that is powered by the Arch Archimedes II satellite. A derelict building called Cerulean Robotics can be found in the western part of this section as well as a ruined store which holds an NCR food distribution center. Across from the store is the train station. The second section covers the central and southern parts of the district. This section is reached from the north by passing through a wrecked vehicle roadblock that divides the two parts from Freeside or from the northwest through or from the northwest through a zone door and a zone door at the back of a ruined building between the Silver Rush and the Atomic Wrangler Casino, or from the south via the stripped north gate. The most prominent buildings in this section include the King's School of Impersonation, home of the Kings, and the Atomic Wrangler Casino run by the Garrett Twins. In addition, the Silver Rush, the base of operations for the Van Graaff family arms for the Van Graaff family arms business is located here. Campfires can be found up by the north gate to the New Vegas Strip when facing the gate. Er, when facing the gate, the fenced off area guarded by Securitrons is flanked by empty lots. Each of these each of these lots has at least one campfire. So that is a layout and description and kind of a background of what Freeside looks like. To give you an idea of what Freeside looks like as well. Let me go see if I can go full screen on this picture and then I will uh, share my uh, desktop with you. All right, there we go. And give me one second. Let me uh, switch to my desktop. Okay, hopefully, y'all can see that. And this right here is the uh, the King's Impersonation Building, a uh, home of the King's Impersonators and the King, aka Elvis. Yeah, School of Impersonation. And there's a Freeside sign right there. And I think further back here, like this way, is the uh, Old Mormon Fort. And up there, right there, I believe, is the New Vegas Strip. There's the Atomic Wrangler Casino right there. And I think the Van Graffs. Oh, yeah, here's the Silver Rush right here. There's the sign. There's Silver Rush. So, yeah, that is a look at what the. Um, at what Freeside looks like. And, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, Fallout Locations video. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this video and what you think about Freeside in general. To me, it's a very dangerous area in my opinion. Uh, from from like first from a first impression and the rest of my impressions of playing the game, going through Freeside, it's a very dangerous area and very run down stuff like that so I understand why a gate and walls were built in between the New Vegas Strip and Freeside so yeah that is my second Fallout Locations video but for right now until my next video you must always remember that war war never changes